northern Michigan. Vast open forests, great lakes, a formidable palette of autumn colors, and the perpetual engine of water and gravity. Here we find a wonderful compilation of quirky roadside attractions, wholesome food, and the ever-present notion of good old-fashioned American values. The people are friendly, the beers are handcrafted, and the photography is like nothing you've ever seen. Prepare to go back in time to a place that does not care about cell phones, Snapchat, Instagram followers, or any of the digital demigods that we worship. Forests, trees, waterfalls, and everything in between. Welcome to the Upper Peninsula. Welcome to Northern Michigan. We are in the iconic Upper Peninsula, and I dare say anything you've ever heard about this place is probably true. Michigan has had a very warm and rainy summer, which means all the trees are extremely vibrant and healthy. I've literally never seen this much color in my entire life, which means we got a lot of work to do. Let's get started. Is it about fall colors? They manifest every single year, and yet somehow we just can't get enough of them. When the leaves start to change colors, people travel for thousands of miles just to get a look at some trees which are no longer green. And don't even get me started about photographers. We completely lose touch with reality. We obsess over every tree, every lake, every reflection. And we talk about autumn as if we somehow have an influence on what Mother Nature is up to. Did you see that, boys? There's a little more red this year. Not as much as two years ago, but definitely more than last year. I'm telling you, it was that cold snap we had last week. You want to see red in your composition? Boom, cold snap. You're welcome. Now shut up and sign up for my workshop. All the same, there are places in this world which have become somewhat legendary when it comes to fall colors. And this is what brings us to the Upper Peninsula. Here we find ourselves in the midst of just about every imaginable variation in the autumn spectrum. And if color alone is not enough, we'll just throw in a nice waterfall to round up your composition to a retina-splitting visual feast. The Michigan Landscape Photography Buffet is open for business and the line starts at Bond Falls State Park, where we discover roaring cascades surrounded by color in all directions. Much to their credit, the Michigan State Park services are well ahead of their time, providing a fully accessible wheelchair ramp all the way down to the main waterfall. This platform is so good that it lands Bond Falls on our list of all-time best wheelchair accessible landscape photography destinations. There is a new video coming out on that topic very soon, so please be sure to hit that subscribe button and check back for a full episode on Michigan's best landscape photography wheelchair locations. With many cascades shooting off in every which way, the river provides a fantastic range of compositions to choose from. Not to mention, time the afternoon light just right and the surrounding color starts to make its way into the falls themselves, creating what could only be described as a river of paint. Let's just sprinkle in an extra cheesy metaphor and call this what it is, watercolor. Cause
Welcome to Marquette, Michigan. Situated on Lake Superior, this little college town is home to a compilation of seafaring history and good old-fashioned outdoor lifestyle. Head west out of town and the old 510 bridge makes for a nice place to start your day. The McClure River Storage Basin is the perfect place to cast a line, paddle a kayak, or just have a good old-fashioned picnic. Once you've had your fill of the charming old trestle bridge, travel a short distance and we find ourselves in the midst of Dead River Falls State Park. Hmm, Dead River. Now, before we begin, let us not be fooled by the strangely morbid name, because we are once again surrounded by a magical world of water and color. Cascades splash in all directions as trees drape across the river, filling the water with reflections. Groups of curious hikers clamor over the rocky shores and the sound of waterfalls echo throughout the forest. If you are a poet or an artist or heaven forbid a photographer, this is a place of inspiration. Find yourself a quiet rock by the shore and watch the creek pass by. There is no injustice here, no racism, no taxes, no bill collectors, no politics, no coronavirus and no distraction. There will always be plenty of chaos waiting for you back home. But for now, it's time to sit back, relax, and let nature take the reins. We travel east to the Central Peninsula. On the left, Lake Superior, Canada, the Arctic, and beyond. Ahead of us, we find the town of Munising and the Hiawatha National Forest. This is lake country, and the autumn rains have filled every creek, waterfall, and pond beyond the brink of overflowing. As the forest stretches for miles, going no place in particular, it brings us to an interesting theory. Many landscape photographers tend to think solely in terms of location. Maroon Bells, Grand Canyon, Grand Teton, Grand Prismatic Pool, arrive at destination, plant tripod, attach wide angle lens, wait for light, snap picture of mountain, canyon, insert iconic place here. I would like to humbly submit that while this is a sound practice, it only fulfills one part of a much broader equation. Because there are big things, there are little things, and there are things in between. And it's the in-between part that most photographers tend to overlook. After all, a place does not necessarily need to have a name in order to present a great opportunity. Photography is all around us, especially when we have country roads, tree tunnels, winding creeks, and little slices of forest in the middle of nowhere.
So it's not the Grand Canyon, but that's okay. In a world where Instagram and YouTube have revealed all the secret places, it's nice to know that there are a few little bits of treasure still out there. Not quite here, not quite there, just in between. Takwahamen. Takwahamena. Takwahamenin? Takwa. Okay, rhymes with phenomenon. You can do this. Takwamenon. Yes, roll it. Travel to the east as far as you can go, and the rolling forests of the Upper Peninsula drop sharply into the frigid waters of Lake Superior. We find ourselves in the town of Paradise, and just beyond are the roaring cascades of Takwahamanan Falls. Known as the Little Niagara of Michigan, this waterfall runs at thousands of gallons per second, and it receives thousands of visitors every year. Autumn is certainly a popular time of year, but despite the large density of tourists, the falls are still a must-see. Once again, we have superb wheelchair access to a series of overlooks which provide an excellent vantage of the falls. And if you're one of those photographers who absolutely must have a location all to yourself, just follow the golden rule of landscape etiquette. Get there early and enjoy the solitude. Just a few miles down the road, Takwahamanan Falls actually has a little brother, or perhaps more accurately, a family of cousins. These little falls scatter in all directions, sending cascades down staircases of rock to create all kinds of pleasing compositions. These falls can only be reached by rowboat, giving them a rather wonderful, old-fashioned appeal. And that is the beauty of photography. The best images always come with a little splash of adventure. As our fall color expedition comes to a close, it's fun to think back on all the miles traveled. This is a place where technology gives way to nature, where traffic is replaced by quiet country roads, and all the noise of everyday life melts away with the sound of falling water. We visit iconic milestones, experience the big things, appreciate the little things, and all the while, take time to discover all the things in between. Our Little Blue Planet is home to all kinds of amazing destinations, and I've had the privilege to produce photographic artwork for homes and businesses all across the nation. If you are interested in acquiring your own little piece of Mother Nature, every image which appears in this episode can be purchased from my website. So be sure to check out the link in the show notes below, and I look forward to providing your next fine art photograph. That's it. You made it to the very end. Thanks for joining us, as always. If you had fun on our little adventure today, be sure to hit that subscribe button. I got a lot of cool new places to show you and I can't wait to take you along. In the meantime, stay sharp and always remember, the camera will take you places you never imagined. I mean, I'd stick around and watch another episode, right?